So that was the one aspect would uh, make uh, use it, don't lose it sublimation method uh, one of the most spiritual body loving relationship practice. But yes, uh, I will tell you now uh, more. So as uh, maybe you know, Tantra guides us to much more higher orgasm than typical sex. And you can um, experience them, thankful the use it, don't lose it method. All those higher orgasms are uh, not explosive like clitoral and ejaculatory orgasm. So you don't lose the energy, you gain the energy from them and they go higher and higher and higher and higher. So for example, with the G-spot orgasm, you don't have to uh, even use the lose it, use it, don't lose it method because it naturally is tantric. It goes up and 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 uh, you can have one after another wave, another wave, another orgasm uh, and you don't lose the energy. You just go higher and higher. So there are at least eight types of orgasm to experience for men and at least 11 types of orgasm to experience for the woman and only the first ones are the peak orgasm, explosive orgasm, when you lose the energy after experiencing them. So, one of the beautiful uh, orgasms what you can achieve, one of the best experience, what you can experience, thankful the use it, don't lose it method. Yes, when you practice use it, don't lose it method. And when you are in full passionate love with your partner, fully in love, like really, it's like this beautiful connection, um, sacred love, uh, you are in amazing, passionate love. Then uh, you could be blessed uh, with uh, experiencing so-called cosmic universal orgasm. And that's one of the most powerful experiences I ever experienced. I'm very blessed by it and I'm very thankful that I could experience it. So uh, in the cosmic orgasm, you are not only one within your being, that you can feel everything in your body, in your being. You are not only one with your all your cells. You can feel all your cells. You can feel all your organs. You can feel allness in your being. There is no separation within you. But it goes much further. You are connected with your partner in this sacred union, what is called Maituna, that you, there is no separation between you both. You feel each other. You can feel how she breathe. You can feel how she touch. When you touch her, you're not feeling only you touching her. You're feeling her to being touched. And whatever she feels, you feel. Whatever you feel, she feels. It's the sacred union. It's very beautiful experience, especially for the couple to unite, to, to feel this sacredness, to feel such a connection, to feel that you are like one. That's amazing. But it goes even further. This beautiful slogan, what many teachings, what many religions are sharing, that we are all one, Tantra gives you through experience, through experiencing the cosmic orgasm, you can feel there is no separation. This beautiful 
experience what they call samadhi, satori, or nirvana. But there is no separation. But you are part of the universe and the universe is part of you. You can feel in the cosmic orgasm. You can feel how Mother Earth is breathing. How the plants are growing after rain especially. You can feel we are all one. You can feel we are all one and you experience it. When you experience something, you are not a believer anymore. It would be very stupid and silly. It would be very stupid and silly if I would like to harm you, if I know that we are one. I would rather make you happy because when I would rather make you happy because when you are happy, I am happy. So yes, even um, without experiencing the cosmic orgasm, any spiritual path, but especially the tantric path, what is all about connection and love and going into this and going into this oneness. The tantric people naturally start to live more spiritual life, more connected with the others, more empathic. They naturally become vegetarian or vegan. They naturally start to live in the communities they are naturally shifting from the work uh, in corporate world into more social, helping people, uh, awakening the people, sharing love. They are more naturally start to be busy more with the social things, with the supporting the humanity instead of, I don't know, instead of, uh, I don't know, uh, working in the war factory, in the weapon industry, or whatever, making business on the things that uh, are not supporting the people, but rather um, maybe even killing the people. So, yes, it sh shifts the consciousness. Uh, it's natural that more tantric people there become a better, a better humanity, better world for everyone. So that's uh, one beautiful aspect. Um, especially this experience of oneness. Yes, if you use it, don't lose it method. And if you have this beautiful connection, if you are blessed one time, you already know. If you bless twice, you go to extra bonus. But yes, this experience, um, I cannot repeat and cannot uh, guide you beside of these two guidelines, what I just told you. But there is even bigger experience and much higher experience what I can guide you. And I'm so fortunate, thankful to my beloved that I can experience it every day. And this uh, empowers me for all my life. It's uh, the best heaven on earth I could imagine. Seeing the happiness, gratitude, love, joy, ecstasy, bliss, in my beloved eyes after our love making and knowing that I influence this is the best heaven on earth for me. Now any orgasm can even be comparable to this moment afterwards that I feel like wow. We both feel like wow. Like hey, it's life is so amazing. Uh, you, 
I can see you are so beautiful in her eyes towards me and the same I'm sharing to her. We are so beautiful. This moment of seeing this love, it's one of the best in my life and I'm very happy to have it. This really empowers my life, like wow. For the contrary, one of the worst um, hell on earth I experienced in my life is to see pain, sadness, betrayal, being disappointed. in my beloved eyes and knowing that I influence this is the worst what I could imagine to experience one of the worst things what I can imagine to experience I wish you could learn from my mistakes you do not have to make the, such a mistake in your life to basically Carry. I would never do that again and uh, this was the hardest lesson for me why I am saying it to you to show you the contrast of when we are connected especially more and more through the tantric practices with our beloved ones then we don't want to have we rather make them happy and this of course expand that love to the others when after the workshop not only in your words and the sharing i experience i hear from you like oh beautiful gratitude but when i feel the openness the happiness uh, connection in the couples uh, um, the love uh, between them and uh, gratitude to the teachings, to my sharings, uh, and joy, liberation. Uh, people came with the nervousness, maybe they carry something or they were not sure if they are in the right place. Uh, and afterwards they feel so relaxed, so happy that they went through some challenges even, but they in, in the happy way. Your happiness is my happiness. It's, uh, that's why I'm teaching, to make you all happy. And, you know, for uh, example, I love to teach parents because I know I love kids. And uh, the parents will bring this beautiful energy, this liberation, this love, what they learn, what they practice, what they experience, this beautiful healing, what they get rid of something maybe. You know, like some trauma, they will bring these beautiful fruits of the class of the retreat to their children and the children would be more happy and that's the future of humanity and that's the presence of our life. So that's why I see you, the use it, don't lose it as a one of the most powerful spiritual body love and relationship practice that's why i wish to encourage you to do it to do it use it don't lose it aho stay connected share love with this video with the others and do not believe me test it do your 49 day challenge and then watch this video again then you will exactly know what I'm